Shalom, Yashra'ala. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakwadash. The bonus to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, who rule one, who taught us his truth, and salutations to all the Akiyam pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. We're the brothers from the Great Millstone camp here in Chicago, and the Lord willing to add a final lesson. All right. Hey, remember the joy that came when you were first called into this thing, into this ministry of ours. All right. Into the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Remember that joy. All right. Finding out that you are an Israelite, that you are a, a son of the highest, you know, a son of the living power, man. We are the princes of the living power, man, you know. And, and, and there's a accountability, accountability that comes with that. All right. We, we have to, uh, 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 you know, eat this roll, warn our people, all right, and do the work. Oh, you guys let me go ahead. Con, this is uh, to add on to what the brothers are saying. This is Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And that's our reasonable service, man. When you come into this truth, hey, remember that joy. You remember how you felt when you first woke up, how you felt, how happy you were to serve the Lord, how happy you were to be out there to teach, man. Hey, that, that hasn't changed. Just because the Lord is turning up the heat, that means we got to turn up the heat spiritually on us as well, man. Cut off certain things from this flesh, be more on point for the Lord. Hey, that's our reasonable service, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, and as you grow in this thing, all right, your fire should get more brighter, man. All right, you should be more on fire for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, knowing the things that are going to come to pass. All right, and yet we know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We know and understand the Lord. And guess what? Knowing that the Lord has made a way out for us, you know, that should bring great joy uh, to all of us, man. All right, we shouldn't be slack. All right, we shouldn't be down and out. No, we should be rejoicing in these times, man. I got another one. Go ahead. This is Galatians 6 and 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So there you have it, man. We can't be weary in doing in well-doing. And when that well-doing is us putting out these lessons, us doing this work, us being charitable, us uh, uh, fellowshipping with brothers, us out there ultimately teaching the word and putting uh, uh, our bodies as a living sacrifice, man. We can't be weary in that because guess what? In due season, we're going to reap if we faint not. You know, right. like the elder apostle um, made that lesson like, uh, yesterday entitled, um, you've been warned, mm -hmm. right? A lot of men know what they're part of. A lot of men know that they're Israelites. A lot of people have woken up to the fact that what, that they're Israelites, they've woken up to this truth, but they're slacking. They, 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 they're, they're putting the Lord off, you know? Well, it's like Apostle Tahar said, a lot of men don't know what they're involved in, right. you see? All right, it's more than just knowing that you're an Israelite, man. You got to count the whole cost, all right? There, there, there's a, 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 what do you call it, a whole journey to this thing. It's not just, oh, I'm an Israelite today. I'm doing the work today. No, you have to endure these things, man. You got to continue doing all these things for the elect's sake, man, all right, so that we could get the hell up out of here. You can't slow down on this thing, all right? Like living waters, man. Uh, we, we're not stagnant. We're constantly moving, all right? Making a way to do things, to get shit done. This is Psalms 137, verse 5. If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning, all right? So now you won't be able to work if you forget, man, all right? There, you won't be able to produce. You won't be profitable, you know? If I Verse 6. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth, if I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy, wow. you know, so hey, if you don't, if you don't remember uh, what you're involved in, you know, if you really don't count the cost, I mean, you, you, hey man, the Lord could plague your mind, man, and bug you the fuck out. And you, then you'll be one of those Jakes that knew the truth and fell out and then get more stripes. All right. You're going to get a worse judgment, you know? Which God forbid that happens. Exactly, and that's but, why. If I, I'm sorry, if, if you could, if I may say, you gotta have that fear. You gotta have the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. You gotta fast and pray, all right. And 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 more often, man. These are the times where we fast and pray more often. You know, Slaki, what were you gonna say? Um, uh, 
Because God forbid that happens, man. God forbid, you know, your labor was in vain. Because when you come into this truth, um, it isn't just about you, like the brother was saying, you find out you're an Israelite and so on and so forth. A lot of people come into this truth and then um, they, they come out worse than when they first came in, man. Oh, they that's start, a scripture. You got it? The uh, seven, the seven, uh, go ahead. Oh, nah, but I got this one. It says, uh, 1 Thessalonians 3 and 5, for this cause, when I could no longer forbear, I sent you to, I sent to know your faith, lest by some means the tempter have tempted you. And then your and our labor be in vain. Yeah. So you don't want our la your labor to be in vain, man. You don't want everything that you've done towards the Lord to just the Lord just toss it out, you know? Because the scriptures, hey, the Lord said, uh, uh, He's not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. Mm -hmm. But guess what? If you stop plowing, if you start looking back into the world, the world, if you start uh, uh, being like those people who the seed fell among the thorns, and you start worrying about uh, the cares of this life, uh, uh, um, and so on and so forth. And it starts to choke the word out of you and you become a fruitful. You don't want to be in that position, man. You don't want uh, 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 all the labor that brothers have put on you to build you up, to be in vain. You don't want to have all that, all those videos and lessons and self-examination that you've gone through and all those things that you've put yourself through for this truth to just be in vain, to fall out, to just go back into the world, man. You know? Right. Yeah, there's a great reward at the end of this thing. Remember that, all right? Can you grab that scripture where he didn't call us to uh, to basically die, but to, to get salvation? I forget how it's worded. Uh, you were in call to damnation. I, let me just double, uh, let me see. Because you got to remember, man, there's a great reward coming to the elect, man, all right? And knowing all these things, guess what? We got to put on as the elect. All right, because the Lord is not a man that shall lie. All these things that are written will come to pass, and you knowing this, all right, should you should be rejoicing, man. All right, don't be caught up with the cares of this life in, in this world. All the shit in this world is temporal, man. Remember that this shit is temporal here, man. All right, but Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is forever, man. All right, and those that 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 dwell in the secret place of the Most High, hey, we're gonna be cool. You know, because what we trust in Yahweh Bashim and our hope is of Him. You know what I'm saying? So we're blessed. All right. I'm sorry, what you got? No, it's not that one. No, no, no. No, no. Hold on, real quick. Um, let me see if I find it. Want me to get this one either, either way because it goes with the. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, well, you guys go ahead. While the brother gets that scripture, it's 1 Thessalonians 4 and 7. It says, um, well, actually, let me see if I'm going this is uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 7. For God has not called us unto uncleanness, but unto holiness. So, hey, the Lord, when he called us into this truth, he called us unto holiness, to be separate, man. You know? And hey, that includes your mind. So what are you giving your mind to? Right now, hey, right now our mind should be towards geared towards Yahweh B'Hashem Yom Shai 100%, uh, uh, especially with the things that are going on. It, and Baruch, it tells you to seek him 10 times more. Exactly. 10 times more. Hey, the scriptures say, acknowledge him in all your ways. You got to really sit there and meditate. Examine yourself. Really think about what you're involved in, man. Because the Lord didn't call us into uncleanness. The Lord didn't call us into this truth. Ultimately, to what? For us to just throw it away. The Lord gave us this talent to use it. To not to hide it in a napkin, man. You know? We can't just ignore what the Lord has given us, man. This is a gift, you know? Right. Right, yeah, if I get this, okay, I can't find it. I'm going to lower and refine it. But this is Psalms 84, verse 10. For a day in thy courts is better than a thousand. I had rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Most High than to dwell in the tents of wickedness, man. All right? It's better to follow the Lord, all right, and give your all for the Lord, man. All right, there's a great recompense when you follow Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and you're about our father's business. You know, we're here to do the work of our father, man. All right, and finish that work. You see, man, the harvest is plent is, is is ready, Joe, but there's uh, the laborers are few, are few, exactly. Get it. This is uh, Matthew.
Matthew. This is Matthew 9 and 37. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Actually, I'm gonna start off at um uh verse 36, verse 35. This is Matthew 9 and 35. And Yahushai went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. So Yahushai was active, man. Yahushai wasn't sitting down. Yahushai wasn't uh, 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 counting sheep, right? He was active, man. It says, verse 36, but when he saw the multitudes, he moved with compassion on them. This is how we should look towards uh, uh, the Lord's sheep. When we think about us making these videos, we should be moved with compassion to feed the sheep, man. It says, because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Hey, our people have no shepherd. They have no leaders. They need us. If you have this truth and you're apt to teach, you're, you're able-bodied, you could work. Man, get up, get off your ass and start working, man. Do what you had to do and was required of you, man. This isn't just about sitting down and not doing anything. You had to get active. You had to get, uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, be proactive, man. You gotta do the work. Exactly. Just like how Yahweh Shai, he was moved with compassion. Why? Because they, it, it was, they were scattered abroad, man. They, they were as sheep having no shepherd. Mm -hmm. They need us. They need us to feed them, man. They, that's why the Lord told Peter, feed my sheep three times. 30, verse 37. Right, verse, so, that, so that you understand. The, the, the three means understanding, you know? That's right. Verse 37. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of harvest that he will send forth laborers unto his harvest. So there's a lot of work to do, man. There's always, hey, the brother Shikari said it one time, hey, there's always things to improve. Whether it's in the scriptures, you have to read more. Whether it's the Hebrew, whether it's geography, whether it's history, whether it's whatever it is. Hey, this, this, this scripture, this Bible, hey, it makes you true. It, it truly makes you a scholar, man. You know, if you truly want to be a, a, a master in this, right? So huh. let me see, master. Uh, it's on you up. Oh, no, I thought you were going to get that. But this is Matthew. And listen, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. All right. Take this as a warning. Matthew 7, verse 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. That's right. All right. And that's a scary thing, man. There's a lot of people, all right, that know that they're Israelites, that know the names, okay, and they're not going to make it. Man, that's all right. That's very scary. That's why you got to make your calling and election sure. Because if you do all these things, you shall never fall, man. Okay? You can't be flaky, man. You can't be, uh, 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 what's the word? Um, Wishy-washy. Wishy-washy, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be like that. No, it's some real shit. You can't be like that, man. All right? This is your life. This is your soul. You know, if you really want this, you're going to fight. You're going to fight, man. You're going to put off this world. You're going to fight the flesh. You're going to fast. You're going to pray to the Lord. All right? You're going to beg the Lord constantly, man. All right? To increase your spirit. To increase your faith. The, the apostles did it, man. All right? And, and, and here it is. We've entered into the other men's labors. We're doing the same thing, man. All right? This, this is, take this as a great warning. All right? For those that know that there is lies, hey, man, examine yourself. All right? And make sure that you're on point, man, because all eyes are, the eyes are on us, man. The Lord sees everything, all right? The good and bad. We're being made a spectacle, man. Well, not even that, but just even when you're on your own, when you're by yourself, the, 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 the angels are watching, giving reports to the Lord. The Lord knows everything that's going on, man, all right? And you got to discern through the Spirit what's going on right now because, hey, you think that the Lord giving us this warning isn't for nothing? Hey, the apostle put it out, and then there was so many response videos to that lesson alone. Through the Spirit, the Lord is telling us to stop slacking. Hey, right. hey, the Lord is literally putting the uh, uh, the Spirit right now. The Spirit is literally saying, "Stop slacking." Right, because something great is coming, man. Something great upon us, man. Jacob's trouble That's right. is around the corner, man. The next lockdown is going to be more intense. Man. Okay. It's going to catch these niggas out here as a thief in the night. But us being on our watch, 
We're going to be cool. But if you're slacking, man. you're going to be caught in, like these niggas out here in the world, man. You can't be slacking, man. This is serious. You see? That's why the Lord gave us warning, man. So that what? We won't be offended, man. All That's right? right? Shit. This is uh, Matthew 25. And it says, um, let me see. Actually, well, the one about the wicked servant. That knew the Lord's will, but didn't, didn't prepare, prepare himself. himself. Yeah. He'd be being with many stripes, man. And that's what oh, I'm right saying. Right here, right here. I got it. This is um Matthew 24. Um, and I'm gonna start off at verse 42. Watch therefore, for ye know now, ye know not what hour your Lord does come. And that's true, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, even when the apost when the when the apostles asked you how shy, uh, uh, um are you gonna return the kingdom unto us now? Or when is when are you gonna come back? So on and so forth. And Yahweh told them, "It is not in your power to know the things that are in the Lord's hand. Right. It's not up to us to know. Hey, even Yahweh doesn't know when he's gonna come back. It says neither the angels or the Son of Man know. Only the Father knows. So if only the Father knows. What we could do best is to be on point. Do what we have to do best, which is to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. That's our reasonable service. Right now is not the time." To let this plow go and look back into the world. Yahweh even said that the, the, the people that look back, they're not fit for the kingdom of God, man. Right. Verse 43. or Yeah, it says, but know this, that if the good man of his of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the, the son of man cometh. Yep. For for then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord has made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he comes, shall find so doing. Imagine how blessed that's going to be. The, the servant that's actually being on point. Doing what's required of him, man. When, he, when the Lord comes back and he finds you doing the work, man. Right. Man. Right, by good and faithful servant, you know. That's right. Verse 47, Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods, but, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, meaning your mind, my Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in the day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour when he is not aware of, and shall cut him in sunder. He's going to cut him in half, and appoint him as points him his portion with the hypocrites there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth yeah you don't want to be a hypocrite man you don't want to be an actor you know going through the motions but not being really about it man okay there's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth for those kind man all right that should put a lot of fear in you man this shit is real america is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire okay and a lot of these like i said the scriptures say it you know, those that call Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, are, hey, a lot of those guys are not going to make it into the kingdom, man, the first go around. They're going to get that fire, man. All right, death by pain. Death by fucking pain, man. You're going to be dwelling in the torments. Sit back and imagine that, man. All right? You don't want none of that smoke, man. All right? It is better to fear the Lord, man. Uh, Sirach 23, man. Real quick. So real quick, Sirach 23 and 27. And it reads, and, and they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord, and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. All right? That's right. When we, when, hey, when we're in that chariot, man, we're going to realize, man, that, that, there's nothing, there's nothing better. <laughs> there's nothing better than the fear of the Lord. There's nothing sweeter than to take heed of the commandments, man. All right? Look, it tells you in Psalms, uh, kiss the, the son lest you be angry. You know? Hey, do what Yahweh Shai is telling us to do, man. He commanded us to go to the highways and byways, all right, to compel our people to the marriage, all right, to wake up the elect, man. Be on fire for this. You were chosen out of all the people, man. Out of all the people you were called, you know? That's right. That's a very small number, man. When you do the math, that's a very small number, 144,000. All right, compared to the billions of people, huh? Man. Do the math, man. All right, 
That's right. And re realize what you're involved in, man. That's right. Y'all got to stop acting like what we're doing is hard, man. This isn't hard. If we were back there during the times at the, the Book of Acts, hey, that would have been hard, man. Because when they were out there, what was happening? They were getting stoned, crucified. People were coming up against them. And people come against us right now. But, hey, guess what? We have it easier, man. We have YouTube doing the heavy work. You could literally be on your bed and make a lesson. You could be on your bed and start reading, man. You got to stop acting like this is hard. You got to get off your ass and do something, man. For real. This is not hard. Well, what they were doing back then, that was hard. That was hard, man. Now we have literally just sit on our bed, sit on our ass and make a lesson, bro. You could feed the sheep from home. You got to stop acting and put off that weak nature, man. Stop worrying about the shit that's about to come. Worry about the work. You worry about the work. The scriptures say, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, worry not about these things, but, uh, 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 think about the kingdom and its righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you, man. Oh, that's, uh, Matthew 6 and like 33, I think. Come on, let me get it real quick. Sure. Matthew 6, um, says Matthew 6 and, uh, it says, but seek ye uh, Matthew 6 and 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you, man. Seek the kingdom first, man. Don't be worrying about all these things and how much men, how much women I'm going to get and this, this and that. And am I going to eat in those days? Man, the Lord said you were going to eat. The Lord said you were going to get woman. The Lord said you were going to get this and that. Stop worrying about that weak shit, man. Just do the word. Yeah, put the, the Lord first. Huh? You know, I'm going to start at 1 on this one. This is 1 John chapter 5, verse 1. Whosoever believeth that Yahweh is Mashiach, you know, the anointed, is born of the Most High. And everyone that loveth him that begot loveth him also that is begotten of him. Mm -hmm. By this we know that we love the children of the Most High when we love the Most High and keep his commandments. All right? You got to ask yourself, are you do am I doing the work? You know what I'm saying? Am I feeding the sheep? You know, am I, am I going out to the highways and byways and presenting my body as a living sacrifice? You know? Feeding the sheep, man. The, the, the Lord said, if you love me, feed my sheep, man. Verse 3, for this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. Okay? Uh, even Apostle uh, Tahar said it, that this, this uh, current kingdom is like, you know, the, the basically... The, the best one compared to all the other ones we had where we were getting stoned and being put to death, right? Because, you know, like Apostle, the Apostle said, we could go home and, like, watch some TV or order some food. Like, it, it's not it's not hard, man. This work, it, it, it shouldn't be grievous. It shouldn't be a, a burden or a chore. You should, right. you should do this with love, you know, and passion. Right. You should be excited about this thing, man. Enthusiasm. And, yeah, enthusiastic about it. Verse 4. For whatsoever is born of the Most High overcometh the world. Damn. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Damn. All right? So if you're flaking, hey, pray to the Lord that he gives you more faith. All right? You know, he gives you more fear to him and his word, man. To You, you know, have more fear for the Lord and, 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 you know, what he told us to be doing, man. All right? It's like, you, you know, your, 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 your father tells you, you know, he go, he, uh, he's off to work and he tells you, hey, you know, clean up the house. You know, I want the house clean by the time I, I get home. You know, and he comes home and you didn't do shit. You're going to get that ass whooped, man. Because you didn't listen. You didn't hearken to his word. All right. But if you did listen, all right, because you feared and you love your father, you're going to do these things that he asked you to do, you know. Keep his commandments. And guess what? When he sees... Right, you keep your, his commandments. But when he sees that the house is clean, he's going to give you a reward. He's going to bring you a little gift, you know? That's right. Hey, occupy till I come. Occupy till I come, man. Give these niggas no rest. That's All right. All right, till the Lord establish Ooh. Jerusalem, baby. All right, we're almost home. We're at the end, you know? Fuck. This is beautiful, man. We're, man. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we're going to the kingdom, man. All right, we're going, to the kingdom. we're going to the kingdom, man. The kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Do you understand that, man? Man, look, our people are never going to suffer again. They're not going to get sick. They're not going to die again. They're not going to sin anymore. We won't have to be teaching our people, our neighbors, who Yahweh Shai is, man. Because all will know. Do you understand? Like, 
That's where we're headed to. All right. <laughs> man. That's man. beautiful, man. That's walk. so beautiful. I, I can't wait, man. Lord Bob, willing. Bob Shock can yeah. off on this. Yeah, picture. go ahead, go ahead. This is Matthew eleven and twenty nine. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, mm. and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, God. for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yeah. This work is light. This yoke is easy. We're prisoners of hope and we're not ashamed that we're hoping, man. Hope making not ashamed because we know what's coming for us, man. That kingdom. Salvation. That kingdom. That salvation. Yeah. We're going to be God's kings and priests. Pure. We're not going to have be having that defiled ass, fucked up, perverse mindset that America gave us, man. Yeah. We're going to be pure. A hundred percent geared towards righteousness. Yeah. Think about that, man. Do you want that? Examine yourself. Stop slacking, man. Put man, put off that, put off the immortal clothing, and put on the immortal, man. Right. And with that, we hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakadash. The bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who taught us his truth and salutations to all the Akim, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom, wa Baba Ball. Baba Ball.